Hey guys and welcome back to my Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets of Full Boy V5. Now as you can see here we have Quidditch League on the main menu to um, your save file. Now there is something I need to explain. Um, I recorded 10 minutes of uh, footage for an episode which included going to the Quidditch pitch, uh, finding a secret area which just had some bouncing bulbs and beans in, um, and the Quidditch training itself. So on this save file now I actually do have um, all the Quidditch training uh, medals and golden wings and stuff um, and I also have a lot more points uh, about 100 more I'd say because uh, you get about 100 points for every gold wings you get and you get 4 of them um, now this happened because my software for the first time ever decided to basically fuck up and um, not respond and for some reason Windows said it is a character problem so it needed to close the program now, autosave absolutely screwed me over at this point because um, it didn't save any of the footage I recorded and because it autosaves, it means that um, I'm now at the point just after Quidditch training. So, I do seriously apologise for that. It's pissed me off to the max, to be honest. I'm not happy about it at all. It's not the game sort, of course. It's my stupid software. Um, but yeah, I do apologise for that, but obviously after Quidditch training you do get the Quidditch League on your main menu. The Quidditch League works the same uh, way as it did in the first game. Uh, you basically just play Hufflepuff, Slytherin and Ravenclaw over and over again uh, for three times and each time it's a different point in the day. Um, and you also get the main, music, main theme music from the first game as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I do seriously apologise for that. We haven't missed much. You've only really missed a Quidditch training, really. I will be going back and redoing a Quidditch training to show you how to play it. And of course, that bit of the thing. We also missed a bit of speech from all of the wood tunnels to get our backside to uh, Quidditch training. But that's about it. And I'll also show you the secret area as well, because it's pretty funny. But yeah, um, let's carry on. Really pissed me off, though. <laughs> um, auto saving is now my worst enemy. But seriously, if it does it again, I'm going to have to start a new game, because I was thinking about doing um, when I did this, but I thought, you know what, it's not worth it just to, you know, just for something I can re-show. Because uh, you didn't miss much at all, luckily. It'd be bad if it was like the final episode, Jesus. Harry successfully earned his wings in Quidditch training with Oliver Wood. Yeah, there you go. Alright, let's go. So this is the bit just after Quidditch training. Hey Harry, fancy a bit of dueling practice? I don't know. Do you think it's a good idea? Yeah, why not? I've beaten Fred before, you know. Anyway, if you're going to win against all the Founders' champions, you need to practice. That's true. How about here then? This looks good. Let's say the path divides us, so it's like a proper arena. You can't cross it, and neither can I. Remember, Harry, you cast knockback jinxes in the same way you usually do with the X button. But special jinxes are cast using the circle button. And look, those flowers are sparkling. So that means they'll have special jinxes hidden inside them. Right, let's go. I do know all this, Ron. Get ready. Jewel! I have beaten two of the Founders' Champions already. You tell me your strategy. Y you know, you're, you're probably hoping that I should forget how to play because then you'll be able to win. Because there's no way you're going to be able to win with me on the pitch, bitch. Hey, that rhymed. Okay, so here's Ron, obviously, um, no harder than, uh, normal, uh, duelists, um, although he's kind of kicking my ass here. Can you, yeah, stop d dodging, that'll be helpful. Alright, come on, get my flower. Take my flower, Ron. Woohoo! Okay, that was kind of impossible to dodge, but you know. Ha! Ah! Oh, shit, bloody hell. Alright, come on. And, Ron, if you've beaten your older brother, that means you're better than it. Fred, you okay, should be Harry. ashamed, you know. Round one to you. Get ready, Jewel. Jewel. Oh, so yeah, these jewels can get a bit. The fun one in single player, but when you're recording, there's not really much to say because the, you know the jewels. There's not much to say. Um, they're kind of the same thing over and over. But even with that, they are fun. But right, come on, get my flower, please. Oh, you did. Oh, Ron, you did it without me asking you to. Oh shit! Hang on, that looks yellow. Bollocks! Look, that's clearly blue there, but you look, you look yellow. That that is that's cheating. Even though I've won anyway, so don't why I'm accusing anyone of cheating. Expelliarmus! Ow! Wow! 
Wow, brilliant, Harry. You're really good. I reckon you could beat nearly anyone now. Oh, Ron. <laughs> Have you heard that Slytherin have a new seeker? I wonder who it could be. It's me. And look at what my father has brought the whole Slytherin team. Very latest model. Only came out last month. I believe it considerably outstrips the old 2000 series. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. <gasps> You'll pay for that, Malfoy. Ron, are you right? At least get up to help him. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Ron, you'd better get to Hagrid's quick. Follow Ron, Harry, and don't let him out of your sight. I tell you what, Hermione, you just show up at the most convenient places, don't you? Okay, so we have a bit of chasing uh, here. Of course, you can get some more beans. And I'm on the slightest sliver of health, so I'm going to die if I hit any of those bushes. Bloody hell. How am I on that much health? Not, not a lot at all. And for some reason, Ron doesn't seem to slip on these stuff, on the um, slimy stuff, but I do. Don't know why, but you know. Anyway, you can't let Ron get out of your sight, and <laughs> those are actually screen captions of uh, David Radcliffe and um, Rupert Grint, and there I am, I've died. But you know, there, there you go, there's the first, de de first death of the Let's Play. And yeah, I don't know what that little black thing is coming from on the bed, it might be a pen of sort, I don't, I don't know. It looks like blood to me, like really weird blood. And I think that's actually like a screen capture from the second game because, of course, you know, better graphics and all that. Have you heard this? Yes, I've, I've heard all this, Ron. It's me. It's me, and look what you know. Model. You know, Malfoy seems Early to turn up at the most convenient no points as well. It's really no. weird. You'll pay for that, Malfoy. Okay, you've Ron, had the yeah. Are you Ron, are you all right? I'm not getting up to help you though. <laughs> Ron, you follow Ron. <laughs> it is funny hearing a character say a word and not nothing else. Okay, right, let's get on this chase properly then. Right, okay, but as I was saying, those uh, are actually screen captions of Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grin. I think Daniel Radcliffe's given like a cheeky little smile in his. And then Rupert Grin, uh, they just stuck him like a bogey onto his <laughs> onto his face and said it's sick or a slug or whatever. But yeah, he didn't actually say it, but he is actually spitting out slugs for um, a spell that backfired on him because of his uh, weird wand, which actually you never find out in this game. They do leave a lot of plot holes in this game, I will admit, even though even if they do have some things to film they didn't have. Like what have they had in this game that the film they didn't, didn't have? Um I'm not sure really. Oh, I suppose they had the bit where you know they have to go find Hermione for the password. I do believe they have to do that in the book, but they don't do it in the film obviously. If it isn't very um hard, uh, I'd say, as long as you have obviously quite a bit of health, because you are gonna be hitting those bushes quite a bit. Uh, just be very careful not to let them out your sight because you start to panic. Like I do. But yeah, on these grass bits here, you're safe, but on the um, slippery bits, obviously you're not. And we can't actually use our wand here for some reason. We're going to use that to trip Ron up so we can um, gain with him. Gay, gay with him? Gain with him, I hope I said there. You know, I, I hear dirty words in my head like you all know, and well, the rest is history. And I don't wonder why they have like really painful bushes out here, and for some reason in this area, you can never come back. It does surprise me, some areas in Hogwarts that just seem to appear for one slight bit, but you know, it's the PS1, you don't question it, it's just a fun game to play. And that's why I like uh, Let's Play these Harry Potter games, because they're nothing you have to take too seriously. Uh, you can just sit down and have fun with them, really, and that's why I, I think I enjoy Let's Play these the best, um, mostly, because they're more laid back. And is that it? It better be. Oh, great, we have another bit. And it's uphill! How unfair is that? Okay, I think we have to go this way, yep. Oh, come on, come on, Harry, you're nearly there! You're fucking nearly... Right, thank you. And I really am wondering if we're going to see a Wing World potion, because I really could do with one. I mean, I know I'm on nearly full health now, but still. You know, just in case. Right, okay, across this bridge. Lovely jubblies. I suppose I could talk about what the Olympics while this is going on, that they're being hosted. Might as well mention them, seeing as it is, like, probably the only time they're going to be hosted in my lifetime in London. Um, and to be honest, I haven't actually watched that much of him, but the stuff I have watched, you, do, you get very patriotic, I will admit. I, I probably seem like a patriotic person um, anyway, but I suppose, I, I'm not really, I know more patriotic people, but yeah, when it's Olympics or like a World Cup or, um, or some kind of, some kind of competition with um, 
uh, different countries participating against each other. You get very patriotic towards your own country, I think. Anyway, though, here's Hag uh, uh, Hagrid's up. Hey, Harry, we got to let these slugs run their course. I'll give you a fangs bowl to catch them in. Move the bowl under run to catch them. Try and empty the slugs into the barrel as often as you can using the square button, or it'll overflow. Hurry up, Harry. Good luck. Thanks, Hagrid. Thanks for Let's Play this minigame, it runs this pleasure. But yeah, um, you have to get 20 slugs into that barrel. Um, it's basically like the goal minigame. Now, once it's got that red bit, you can just uh, empty them into the barrel. Not very hard at all. But they do look weird slugs, I mean, they're full on green. Now, whenever I've seen slugs, they're either black or brown. Or really, really disgusting. Well, they're always really disgusting, aren't they, really? And, yeah, <laughs> for some reason it spins out the bottle. Uh, or, oh, sorry, the bowl. Um, when you have enough. And, yeah, like I said, not very hard at all, even though I'm getting lo quite low on time here. Come on, Ron, spit faster. Ron, spit faster! Ron! Come on! Right, come on! Go, 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 go! Oh, thank God for that. That was a great effort. How are you feeling, Ron? Oh, I never want to see another slug as long as I live. Next time I'll get Malfoy for sure. How can he call Hermione a mudblood? Because she is one! Ron, it's only a word. Yeah, but that word's the most insulting thing he could think of. Mudblood is a really unpleasant name for someone whose parents are non-magical. There are some wizards who think they are better than everyone else because they're pure blood. Thanks for defending me, Ron. Especially the way your wand's been behaving. Yuck! I can still taste the slugs! I think I need to go and brush my teeth again. Gosh! Look at the time! We'd better get to Professor Lockhart's defense against the Dark Arts class. Do we have to? Really, Harry? I don't know what you've got against Professor Lockhart. He's a fantastic teacher. Well, he seems to think so. Defense against the Dark Arts can be found in the Upper Castle. I'll show you the way, Harry. Okay, so now we can actually go to the Upper Castle, but obviously I'm going to go and uh, do Quidditch training again. But first, um, I don't think we went through this bookcase. And yeah, so there's the Upper Castle if you want to go to it. Up Hogwarts. But yeah, let's go through this bookcase and see what's in here, unless I've been in here before. Nope, I haven't been in this uh, bookcase before. It's a good thing we came in here. And of course, there's that pretty chilling music again. That's also awesome at the same time. But yeah, we've got some doors here that are locked. Um, now, what do we have to do, actually do here again? Can we do anything? Oh yeah, it's the portrait one. Right, okay. This one's um, a bit of a puzzle one, I guess. And there's some beans if you want them, but I can't be able to get any. But yeah, um, you can climb through these portraits with these little bars next to them if you talk to the portrait. I'm warning you, don't come through here. Go away. They always scared me when they said that because it made them seem like they were threatening me. And painting's supposed to be nice like in the first game. It's nasty, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, and there's that door unlocked. Stop doing that creepy music. It sounds like someone's chasing you. Right, I think I might have activated the cauldrons. Maybe, I'm not sure. But anyway though, um, before we go and do anything up there... I hope you haven't pulled that lever, young man. Why? What are you going to do if I haven't? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Like I've been told, like I've taught myself in this game that you portraits do nothing because you try and scare me but you just fail and I've got to hit that the other way, haven't I? Come on, give me some points. Okay, again. Lupendo. Why have I got to push it this far? Lupendo. What? That's weird. I don't like it. I really don't like that. Right, I'm pushing back again. Lupendo. That is really weird. That is... That's really... Why is there a random pillar there that you can move? Okay. And Well, that, that was weird. My screen flashed black then, but it's just a graphical shit of the uh, PS1. Anyway, though, we've got to go through here. Why, it's Mr. Potter. I remember you from last year. If you want to get to the floor above, come on through, Mr. Potter. Thank you very much. See, this portrait's nice. Right, anyway, I think there's, yeah, there's air vents in here. Let's get these chocolate frogs. And up we go. They, they, make, they give you so many chocolate frogs, they make you seem like you're going to face a boss or something, but you don't. What the fuck? 
That piano is creepy as hell. Do not do that again, game. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> no need for that game. Okay, back up here. Right, let's actually get onto the cauldrons this time. Fuck me, music. Jeremy Soul, what are you thinking? <laughs> You're thinking awesome music, but seriously, it's a kid's game, don't scare us. In fact, I'm glad I was scared because, you know, it's fun. It's, it gives you memories of when you were younger. Right, come come here, giant mutated rat thing. Oh yeah, that's on sorry. I kept pressing the L1 for some reason. Probably because I've been playing too much Grand Theft Auto again. Right, come here. Fucking hell, what is with this music? I really don't like it. It's just like, this isn't the only, I think it's the only time that like, we actually play this music as well. And we're actually getting a lot of points from this. Stop doing this music. I'm scared. I'm, I'm so scared. If you can imagine like a five-year-old playing this, like I was when I first played this game. Jesus, honestly. Anyway, is that a, what's that? Oh, I thought someone was hopping along. Oh, it's just a candle. Okay, let's head for this door though. Oh, good lord, the music! I know I keep complaining about it. Well, not complaining, but more admiring it at the same time as being scared, but you know. Um, wait, how am I going to get... What the hell? I've come out the same... Oh, I see. It was a shortcut back up here. Alright, well, we have to go back here to the bookcase, I do believe. Back into this door. And now where are we? Um, okay, this is kind of weird. Um... Oh, are you shitting me? I've done all this just to find out I can't get over there because of a spell I don't have yet. Well, that is a load of bull. I'm not happy. Right, piss off then. I'm not coming back. I'm coming back later. You know, I probably, like, warned myself about this in another episode, but oh well. Anyway, I'll come back to the get out of here. Oh, wait, I don't need to. The bookcase is here. Now, hopefully, that bookcase will stay locked. Anyway, though, I'm going to cut outside um, back to the um, grounds. Oh yeah, another saving point. I'm going to cut back outside to the ground so I can go back to Quidditch training. Right, we're outside, but I just quickly want to show you that um, secret area that I was on about. Of those bouncing bulbs. Now, it isn't very far, it's just down here. Um, it's actually a secret area that I knew was there, but for some reason we couldn't get into it until Neville told us it was there. Anyway though, I do believe it's... Um, is it, It's not this bit, it's the next bit of walls, I do believe. Ah, I do I believe... I believe! Not this bit. Down... Oh, come on, where is it? Don't tell me you've lost it, Ben. Um, Is it one of these? Oh, God, Neville. Where are you? I've lost it again, I think. Oh, have I? Wait, what's through here? Oh, no, it is this bit. Right, okay, lovely. I've got the gist of it. Here it is, I think. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so here you just have some bouncing bulbs and you also have this giant one that comes after you. Is it coming after you? No, not at the moment, I don't think. But if you attack it, it's like a wiggler in uh, Mario. Once you attack it, it turns orange and it, it chases you like there's no tomorrow. And I've got a text, okay? I'm going to see who that is. And why are you humping the wall? Anyway, there, I'll cut back to the Quidditch training pitch. Okay, here we are. And there's that black guy that I was extremely racist to. I'm not, I love you really. Kiss, kiss. Nothing more. Anyway, let's head into the Quidditch training pitch. Welcome back, Potter. Now, let's begin your training. Okay, Harry, we're going to practice your basic broom controls on a special training broom. Steer left and right to fly between the poles and use the X button to speed up. Try and finish the course before my stopwatch counts down. Excellent! I see you've been awarded gold wings for this section. Would you like to have another go? Yes, please. This broom won't let you fly until you've passed the first test. Get set. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah, so this broom won't let, let you fly up or down, uh, so you just gotta practice going through the poles. Now, in when I was last here, the broom looked like the broom, sorry, looked like it was burning because black smoke was like coming out of the back of it. Now I don't believe you actually get a, a, a broom upgrade in this game, so I don't know if you start off with the Nimbus 2000 or what, but whatever it is, it doesn't look as mighty or majestic as the uh, Nimbus 2000 in the first game. Uh, but yeah, um, just got to fly through these poles, just to uh, test your steering out, and I do, I have got gold wings for everything in here, so you're going to be seeing, oh, you've been awarded gold wings already, would you like to have another go? Quite a bit. But anyway, uh, we're done on the first stage. Excellent, gold wings. You really do show promise as a seeker, Harry. I love that little jingle. Would you like to try it again? 
new. For the first part of your seeker training, let's see if you can fly through ten hoops generated by the snitch. Ready? Go! Excellent! I see you've been awarded gold wings for this section. Would you like to have another go? It's Colin! Run! Okay, so I do believe before this he will uh, test you out on a um, on two brooms, inverted controls and normal controls. Now, I tried out normal controls and they screwed me over, so I'm just sticking with inverted for the brooms thing. I don't know why I thought um, inverted controls were weird on the car, but you know, guess it's just my weird mind. But uh, yeah, just got to practice going through these rings here. Uh, generate by the snitch. For that performance, you've earned silver wings. Oh, screw you! I earned gold wings before. Don't worry, if you get another score, they won't go. It won't go down or anything. I, I hope not. Anyway. Would you like to try it again? You seem to have gotten the hang of chasing the snitch. Let's see if you're any good at catching it. Fly through ten rings, then move your hand over the snitch and hit the X button when it appears on screen. Excellent. I see you've been awarded gold wings for this. Okay. Would you like to have another? Yes, game? I'm having to go now, Ward. You have to tell me. And I made. Uh, it's a good thing that footage went actually, because I made so many jokes about how his last name's Ward. <laughs> uh, anyway, though. Um, yeah, catching a snitch and playing Quidditch is basically the same in this game as it was in the last game. The only difference is how you catch the snitch. And I actually prefer um, how you catch it in the first game to how you catch it in this game. Because this one can be a bit annoying. Just watch. So instead of getting timing right, well, you have to get the timing right anyway, but you have to hover your hand over the snitch this time and catch it. Now, the animation for, cap uh, for failing to catch it is quite lengthy, so that timer at the bottom goes down loads. Well, let me just try and catch it here. Oh, come on. Get it, get it! It's so annoying. I don't like catching it this way at all. Wait until it comes to you. Oh, shit! Come on! Get it! Yes! Got it, finally! Excellent. Gold wings. You really do show promise as a seeker, Harry. Oh, that, that thing really does screw you up when you're trying to get good times in the Quidditch League on the main menu. Would you like to try it again? No. In a Quidditch match, whichever team's seeker catches the Golden Snitch scores 150 points for their team. This often results in that seeker's team winning the match. Let's see how you manage catching a snitch whilst racing against another seeker. Excellent. I see you've... Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so we've got a race against another seeker here. This is basically what it'll be like in the Quidditch match if you haven't played the first game and um, you haven't watched my Let's Play the first game. But yeah, the blue rings, or is it purple rings? I, I don't know. What rings are you letting off? Yeah, blue rings. Uh, they're the first rings you'll go through. Then you'll go through red. Um, actually, in the Quidditch game, you'll go through blue rings without a seeker uh, chasing you or uh, chasing the snitch with you. He'll come when the red rings are, appear. And then once you get the orange wing rings, sorry, that means that you're basically close to catching the snitch. And also, in the proper game, there will be um, a bar showing you how close you are to the snitch instead of actually the number of uh, rings left you've got to go through. Um, and you won't be judged uh, by um, wood in the Quidditch match, thank lord. Could not be doing with failure over and over again. But yeah, I've nearly done this. Um, orange rings, please. Once you got uh, the orange rings, yeah, like that, for some reason the other seeker slows down like loads, or you just speed up. It feels like you speed up, really, so. Alright, come on. Let's get that snitch. Or yo. Oh, I, can't, <laughs> I can't stand people who do that. And someone's going to say it in the comments, because that's what they usually do. Alright, come on. We're nearly there at the snitch. We can almost grab that golden ball. Bring on the wall! Alright, come on, get it. Right, catch it this time, Harry. Oh yeah, that was Excellent. quick. Gold wings. You really do show promise as a seeker, Harry. Doo -doo. That sound should come on every time he jizz. Would you like to try it again? No. Well done. You have completed Quidditch training. Would you like to try again? No. Good session, Harry. The Quidditch training doors are always open for you. Unlike the first game. Actually, no, in the first game, I think they are, they are always open for you. It's just my name, Hooch's class gets closed. Okay, so there's everything I did in that failed recording. Going to the um, Quidditch training and also going to that secret area. Um, and in this part, we did what we did, basically. We did all that and um, we also helped Ron get rid of Slugs and we did quite a bit, actually. Um, but anyway, in the next part, we're going to be going to the Upper Castle and going to Defence Against Starcast class. So I shall see you then.